Hey everybody, welcome to Charleston Car Videos. My name's Chad and today we're here at Ravenel Ford. We're gonna be taking a look at this beautiful Dodge Ram 2500 heavy duty with the Hemi 6.4 liter for 2014 today. This is a big truck folks, again, 2500 series. We don't get to film a whole lot of Dodge Ram trucks to begin with, but then on top of that, it's 2500 series. So this is interesting. Anyway, this is a big truck. I mean, look at it, it's massive. First off, it's four door, we call it a crew cab. Got a long bed, it, I mean, it looks like a land yacht. It's huge. Big wheels, big tires. I like it. Anyways, we're going to walk around this truck. If I see any dents, stings, or scratches, or imperfections on it, we'll definitely point them out on the video today. That's why we call it a condition report. Because, again, you're out there looking to buy a truck. You want to see the condition of it, right? Before you even have to drive up to the dealership. So let's go ahead and get that started right now. Front end's looking good. Headlights look good. You know, a Dodge Ram's just got a, a very unique look about it. The front end just kind of looks like it jets out like a like a shark, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a big Megalodon shark, in a sense. <laughs> but it's clean. The only thing I've seen on the front is it's got a uh, it's got a ding going on right there, and uh, I don't think the Dent Wizard guy the Dent Wizard guy is going to be able to get that out. But uh, other than that, not too big of a deal. Let's keep walking around, take a look at the actual body of the truck, the rims, the tires, the price, the mileage. Um, good looking tires. They're, uh, they're made by Mastercraft and they are the uh, Cursor MXTs. So good looking tire, kind of a mud, mud tread looking tire on here and they look pretty brand new. Still got the little nipples on them. Got the chrome alloy wheels and uh, you might be wondering what size tires those are. Uh, let's see if we can get a look down there. It says, says it's a 30570 series with an 18 inch alloy wheel. Again, Hemi 6.4 liter Ram 2500 heavy duty. Let's take a look at the price and mileage. The price on this truck is $28,760. The mileage is $68,983. Four wheel drive, of course. And there's some of the information. It's called a trade tradesman. Okay, cool. Tradesman. Pretty big uh, mirror that extends out. Tinted windows. You got the window visors right there. And uh, my goodness, if that is not a long truck, I mean, look how long the wheelbase is on that truck. Wow. I mean, it almost looks like it wants to just kind of. <laughs> kind of fold down in the middle. It is a really long truck. That's one long wheelbase on this one. Anyways, wow, wait, I don't think I've ever seen a truck this long other than the uh, Ford F450 that we filmed uh, about two weeks ago. Anyways, uh, back tires look just as nice as the front. That's always a plus. You want to make sure you got a nice set of tires on a vehicle when you're buying it. You got, you do got a few little dings right back in here. It's hard to see. White is one of those colors that kind of covers up dings. So you can't see them that well, but there's a couple tiny little dings right throughout there. And that's understandable because again, it is a work truck and uh, people are throwing stuff into the back and loading and unloading and all that kind of thing, right? Um, you do got the tow package right there. There's your chrome back bumper, like the front bumper, four wheel drive logo. No backup camera in the rear. I think that would be something you would want on a truck this size as a backup camera. And you can add one on aftermarket, so that is an option. You do got some cracks going on in the plastic right back here. Let's see how this works. But that's one big bed on this truck. I mean, it's, it's huge. You're gonna be able to get a lot of stuff back here. I mean, heck, if you're an alligator hunter, you can get you a big old 10 foot alligator in the back of that bed and, and, uh, and have you a good old time. All right, there's a fuel door. Kind of looks tiny on this big truck, but that's where you're gonna put your fuel at. Tiny little scratch right there if you can see that, but uh, nothing real major. A little wax would clean that right off of there. But that'd be a lot of waxing to do on this one, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of the truck and see what we got going on. Here's our key. Let's go ahead and hit the unlock button. So this one's gonna have power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, all that good stuff. Actually, she's got auto up down feature on both of the uh, front two windows. Manual seats, so no power seat in this truck. Gray cloth, looks pretty clean, not bad. 
you know it smells decent on the inside it doesn't stink and it doesn't smell like a new truck but it, it doesn't smell bad and I don't smell anything like cigarette smoke or anything like that so that's a good thing um, there's your steering wheel you got cruise control on there there's your gauges you got a nice Sony uh, in dash unit right there looks like someone may have added that on I don't think that came from the manufacturer but maybe it did I, I doubt it though it looks like this was added in which that's a nice little feature for somebody that buys this truck to get a nice in dash Sony unit right there it has a uh, USB port and an auxiliary right there for you as well so that's nice put the key in here let's go ahead and crank it up again this is a unique truck and uh, I'd love to crank it up and let it let it run all right, cranked up pretty easily there. Uh, didn't take very long. The head unit works good. Let's get that music down though. I don't want to get a copyright strike on YouTube. Um, you got a little spot to throw change at. And again, the engine's quiet. You can't even hardly hear it running up there. Four wheel drive cup holders, more cup holders. That's a lot of cup holders and storage space. Looks like you got some kind of brake gain or, well actually that says base level right there. Kicker, if you can see that. So whoever owned this truck at some point may have had some subwoofers in here and they may still be in here. I don't know. We got to just find them, don't we? That dubs over as a center seat. You want to go out on a Friday night and take your little honey bunny to the drive-in movie theater. You can have her sitting right there next to you and enjoy a night and give her a kiss on the cheek. You know, that's what you do. That's what you do here in the Carolinas. Well, we do got some kind of stereo stuff going on, so this is some nice upgrades. Looks like we got a, a, a kicker amp right here. And let me tell you, folks, this is not cheap stuff here, folks. This is expensive equipment. Um, that looks to me like an amp and a speaker all built into one. Uh, if so, that's pretty unique. Yeah, it is. There's your speaker. That looks like a 10-inch subwoofer there. And the amp, all built into one. You know, now I'm, it's been a while since I've been in the music game in the cars, but I really like how they have built in the speaker with the amp. I think that's really cool. Um, you know, then you, you don't, it doesn't take up so much room in your truck having big speaker boxes and all that. That's really simple right up under the seat. You do got rear air vents right there, which is nice to see. You know, on a big truck like this, you need some rear air in the back. Vinyl floors, I mean, you can take the water hose, maybe not in the back with the amp here, but you could clean out the floors with a water hose you got some storage under here check that out look how deep that is wow that's really interesting it really is and then the back seat drops down and the seats are nice and clean headliners clean it is a really nice clean Dodge Ram 2500 I like this truck this is not a bad work truck at all here for somebody who wants to get the job done out there on the road now before the video ends I don't usually do this on most videos but I'm gonna pop the hood because uh, I want to see what the engine looks like on a big truck like this. Again, we don't get to film 2,500 Ram heavy duty trucks all that often. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. Yeah, I think we can. There we go, check it out. Well, that definitely gets the job done at the end of the day, that big old, big old 6.4 liter Hemi under the hood of a 2500 series and uh, you got to be a little bit taller to grab that hood and drop it down I, luckily I'm about six foot one so we're good to go if you're in the market to buy a truck like this now that you've watched the video please come and see my friends at Ravenel Ford here in Ravenel we love to earn your business again the price is 28,780 with just around 60,000 miles on it that's really low miles for a 2014 work truck and let me tell you folks it's a clean truck as you can see in the video here today you can have something a little bit different than all the other guys on the job site rock out with a big old Dodge Ram 2500 heavy duty anyways thanks for watching if you just enjoyed watching the video maybe you're not interested and buying a truck but you watched the video because you want to see what a truck like this looks like thank you hit that like button and get in there and make a comment let us know what you thought we'll see you soon have a great day from ravenelford.com and charleston car videos